two, good, three, and four, and then we're going to go forward four times. One, good, two, three, four. Perfect. We're going to do some nice shoulder mobility then. So we're going to do some circles with the shoulders. So if you start with your right arm first, we're going to go all the way back. And we're going to do four of them. Oh, big circle with the shoulders. If you can see me side on here. Three. Three. Four. And then we do the same with the left side. So one. Good. Two. Three. Good. Four. Okay. We're going to go back to marching on the spot for 30 seconds. Again, that's mostly just to get the arms kind of nice and loose. We'll be doing some arm exercises, some leg exercises later on. So just to start getting them loose, loose and up. So we'll go for another 30 seconds to again, just try and get that heart rate going. Great. So another 10, 10 seconds of this. Okay, then what we're going to do for 30 seconds is we're just going to do nice high knees, so a bit slower. So really try and get that knees up as high as you can. So you can see me side on. And just get some of these hip muscles going. Excellent. Okay, and the next we're going to flick our heels up behind me, so side on. So we're going to try and almost trying to kick the bum with the heel, get the back of the leg going, the hamstring muscle. Good stuff. So you might feel a little bit of work here at the back of the thigh. Another 10 seconds of this. Brilliant. We're going to go then. We're going to do some circles with our hips. You can put your hands on your hips. And we're going to try and make a circle with the hips. All right. So you're going to bring hips forward, back, around, and side. You might feel a stretch of the hamstring. You might feel a stretch of the front of the leg. A little bit on the inside of the leg. Excellent. So all the way around. One direction. Excellent. And we're going to stop there and go around the opposite direction. Okay, so I might try maybe another three or four in this direction. Really good. We're working our way down the leg. So now we're going to do one for the ankle. So if you have difficulties with balance, you might need your chair for this one. And basically you're going to stand with one leg out in front of you and you're going to make some big circles with the ankle. You can hold on to something for balance if you need to. You're going to make maybe five circles in one direction. And then five circles in the other direction. As much as your ankles, if any kind of ankle mobility issues, you might have a little bit of restriction, but just use your available range of motion. Brilliant. We're going to switch legs. So leg out in front of you. Big circle to the ankle. Five clockwise. And then five anti-clockwise. Great. We're going to go back to marching on the spot there for 30 seconds. Again, just to keep that blood pumping, starting to get the heart rate, even just a little bit elevated before we go into our cardiovascular exercise with Paula. Excellent. Four. 
five more seconds. Excellent. So we're going to step up the warm up a little bit now. So you're going to need your chair and your exercise band for this part. Okay. So the first one is again is an arm exercise. So we're just going to step up the arm warm up. So you're going to grab the band around the two wrists. Okay. If you can, bring the arms straight out in front of you. So straight out in front of you, about shoulder height. And we're going to pull the band apart. So you're almost making a T shape with your body and slowly back in. So one second out and maybe two seconds back in. Brilliant. So we're going to do 10 of those. You might feel a little bit of uh, a little bit of strain on the back of the shoulders or between the shoulder blades. Perfect. So I'll, I'll stand sideways just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Excellent. If you're finding it hard to keep the arms up at shoulder level, you can also do it down the slightly lower level. So a bit more like a, a V shape. Okay. So about 10 to 12 repetitions. Might start to feel it between the shoulder blades or the back of the shoulder at this stage. Excellent. Brilliant. Right, the next one we're going to do is we're just going to tie the band around the knees. So if you get the band and make a tight enough circle just around your knees and make a, little, a small little knot in it. Okay. You might need your chair beside you just to give you a little bit of balance. Okay. So I'll give you a minute there just to, just to get the band tied around you. Very good. And then this, we're going to start moving the hip in different directions. So I'm going to use my right leg first. So there's three movements per repetition. So the first one is the leg comes up in front of you, out to the side, and then back. Okay. So up in front of you, out to the side, and then back and you're just going against a little bit of resistance with the band excellent so we're going to do 10 of those so knee up knee out to the side knee back i'll turn sideways to show you knee up in front out to the side and back up in front out to the side and back so we're just going to do 10 with the right leg up in front out to the side and back. It might start creeping up a little bit and you can just kind of pull it back there. Open front, out to the side and back and this is all for the hip muscles. So the muscles at the front of the hip, muscles at the side of the hip, muscles at the back of the hip. Excellent and then when you've done 10 with your right leg, we do 10 with the left leg. So open front, out to the side, and back, excellent, up in front, out to the side, and back, brilliant. You might just feel a little bit of, little bit of strain or a little bit of fatigue in the, in the hip muscles. And it's just a stepping up the warm up. Excellent, up in front, out to the side, and back, brilliant. I think I have one more repetition to do. Up, out to the side, and back. Brilliant. So you're going to untie yourselves there. We might, might need the band again untied, so we'll, uh, we might need it for other exercises. Okay. And the last warm up then is for the lower leg. So this kind of calf muscle here at the back of the leg. So there's two choices. So I'll show you one. So you're going to hold on to the back of the chair and you're going to go up on your tippy toes and slowly back down. Up on the tippy toes, slowly back down. And we're going to do 10 of those. If you have some ankle pain and the ankles are actually at the moment, you can do the same thing in the sitting where you're seated, seated and you do up and down the tippy toes. Up and down the tippy toes. So you can choose here whether you do them standing or sitting, depending on how the ankles are feeling at the moment. Okay, so if you get somewhere between eight, eight and twelve repetitions. Perfect. So that completes our warm-up.
okay so you should feel a little bit little, little bit tired that we're a little bit not not very much out of breath but you've done a little bit of exercise most of the joints feel ready for exercise now so that the, the legs and the arms are, are well warmed up okay so you're going to get maybe a very quick drink of water and then we're going to pass it over to paula then so paula is the physiotherapist from crumlin and she's going to take you through a 10 minute cardiovascular workout okay and then i'll be back for the strength circuit then after that you can take your mask off if you want. Okay, guys, so if you're ready to do the cardiovascular bit, we're, we're going to start again at, um, we're going to start again with some marching on the spot. This time, you start off nice and slow, but you've done your warm up, so you can bump it up a little bit. If you're able, you can go that little bit faster, okay? And we're going to do about 30 seconds of that. Okay, so about 10 more seconds. That's it. Fantastic. Okay. Now we're going to go with stepping forwards. Okay. So we step forward and back, forward and back. And we do 10 with each leg. Sorry, I'm confusing you. I'm mixing them up here. Four. Life. And you can punch forward as you go forward. Seven. Eight. Okay. And we go forward with both feet, okay? <laughs> and ten. And back to marching on the spot, okay? Most of you have 10 down there. Okay, so marching on this spot. So each time we're going to do an activity and then we'll come back to marching on the spot. The whole idea here is that you get your heart rate up a little bit for those 10 minutes, okay? So if you're able to, you can go a little bit faster or get the arms moving. Or depending on how your joints are, you can, um, you might be able to break into a jog. For now, we're just going to stay with it, marching. Okay, so about 10 more seconds now, guys. Okay. Okay, and we're going to go with stepping backwards at this stage. Okay, and just speed it up there as much as you're able to. And if you want to get working a little bit harder, you can punch up as you go as well. Okay. I'm talking that little bit more, so I find it harder to punch as, as, as I go, okay? Coordination is not my thing, as you can see. <laughs> okay. Good job. And we're going to go back to our marching on the spot. Again, get those arms moving. Get your heart rate up a little. And I see some of you there are uh, going that little bit faster. Excellent. So you don't have to get your arms moving, but it does help to uh, keep your heart rate up. Okay, so we're going to go now with stepping sideways. Okay. So we just do a gentle step to the side first. And if you want, you can step to the side and do a squat and back. Step to the side squat and back just a gentle squat yeah okay 
Uh, we're going to do about 10 of those. I think that's about seven I've done now. That's it. Okay. And we're going to do 10 to the other side, okay? So to the side, squat and back. Good job. To the side, squat and back. Side, squat. We're halfway there now. Five, six. Good job. Don't forget, we're trying to keep the heart rate up as well. So you should be able to talk, but not sing. Should be that little bit breathless, okay? Okay. Now we're gonna head back into marching on the spot. So again, about 30 seconds, we're trying to get the heart rate up. Up and keep it up. Okay, um, so do some knees up. Okay, we're going to do a little modification here, marching on the spot. We're really, we're going to really activate your glutes now with this. Okay, so we're going to go with a a, a knee up, a, a good high march. Okay, and um, really get those knees up nice and high. Okay, so we're going to go knees high knees okay and you can do a pull down while you're at it yeah okay okay we're all we're all getting a bit mixed up here so we'll do a pull down and go to alternate legs this is going to really challenge you now <laughs> so you'll feel your your glutes making it work hard now and works your coordination as well, and your balance. If you find it too difficult, just go back to marching on the spot. Excellent, well done. Okay, and back to marching on the spot. Okay, so take a breath. If you need a quick drink of water, go for it. Okay. Okay, if you're up for a bit more, we're going to go back to stepping forwards. Okay, so we step forward and we'll do bicep curl with that. Okay, so step forward and do your bicep curl as you go. So, right uh, as your right leg for goes forward, your right arm will come up, left leg forward, left arm comes up, and then down. Well done. Excellent. We'll do about 10 all together. Okay. And then we'll um, go, back, go back to our marching on the spot. And we're going to go to uh, stepping backwards again, okay? So, and we'll punch up as we go. So, punch as you reach back, as your leg goes backwards. Two minutes. So just two minutes left there now, guys. You're doing really, really well. If you find it difficult to coordinate, if you're getting too short of breath, you can stop the arm movements and just keep going with the stepping backwards. Or if it's not challenging enough, you can go into a gentle little, little lunge backwards instead. Okay, so that's the, the lunge. 
Okay. Now we're going to ease back into marching on the spot. Hope your heart rates are, are nice and at the moderate level there. So you should all be feeling a little bit warm, maybe a little bit breathless, but still able to still able to talk uh, somewhat, <laughs> but not sing. <laughs> That's it. Excellent. Okay, so we're, we're almost at the end now. One minute. We, might, we have one minute left. So if you have a little bit more in you, we're going to do some, uh, we're going to go with the knees up and the pull downs again, okay? So we're really getting the legs going for you today. Okay, so we're going to go uh, opposite arm and leg. That's it. Might be easier to keep the arms in the air and just pull down. That's it. Excellent. Fantastic. Well done. Get those knees good and high. So up to waist level or a little higher. So obviously the faster you go, the faster your heart rate will be. Taking photos is cheating there, Brian. <laughs> That means the rest, your heart rate drops. <laughs> I'm on to you. <laughs> okay, so that's about 10 minutes, okay? So we just ease back into a march there for a minute and Mark is gonna come in now and he's going to uh, move along <laughs> with some strengthening work into some circuits. And I'm going to leave you at this point and I'm going to go join Sheila, so I'll leave you with Mark. So enjoy the rest of the session. Guys, if you guys want to get a quick drink of water there after after doing the, the cardiovascular circuit. So again, like Sheila's um, like Sheila's presentation, any any bit of cardiovascular exercise, we're looking to get it in those kind of 10 minute bouts. Um, so that would have been 10 minutes with Paula. So trying to keep that heart rate elevated into that moderate left level. So like 50 to 70% of maybe your heart rate, um, or even if you want to go vigorous, okay? So now the next thing we're going to do is our strength circuit, okay? So it's going to be a mixture of kind of strength exercise and uh, cardiovascular exercise. And um, so obviously if you do the strength exercises quick enough, it can, uh, it can also kind of activate the cardiovascular system. So what we're going to need for this one is we're going to need the band, we're going to need the chair, and then we will need a kind of a mat that we're going to have, okay? So how the strength circuit's gonna work, there's gonna be three exercises and we're gonna, we're gonna go between them a few different times. Each exercise we're going to do for one minute, okay? So I'll have a timer in front of me, so I'll let you know what the, the one minute is, okay? So the first exercise, I'll show you the three exercises very quickly and then we go straight into the circuit. So the first exercise is gonna be a sit to stand, okay? So it's like a squat. So basically you're gonna be at the chair, you're gonna sit down and come back up. Okay, down and back up, down and back up for a minute. So that actually gets quite tough for the minute. The second one is using the band and it's an arm exercise. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the band. You're going to step on the band. So I'll come back there so you can see me. You can step on the band. Okay, get a good tight grip. And then you're kind of bent over and then you're going to pull the band back up. So your elbow stays tucked in by your side. So it's a kind of a, a bent over row is the name of the exercise. Okay. The third exercise then is going to be our heel raises. So that's going to be standing at the chair and it's going to be up and down on the tippy toes. Okay. If that's diff too difficult for you, what you can do is you can do it seated. Okay. Um, and we're going to do them each for a minute. So we're going to do the sit to stand, then the band, the arm exercise with the, uh, with the band. We're going to do, go back to the sit to stand back to the heel raise, back to the sit stand. So we have a five minute circuit um, and the heart rate should be up for a good bit of this. The heart, the sit stand gets quite tough. So you you set the pace, you set the pace of the sit to stand. We're gonna be doing it for a minute. So you have to allow, allow uh, remember that we're gonna be doing it for the minute so we can um, try to keep going for the minute, but you set the pace, okay? So if everybody's ready, we have our chair, we have our band and we're gonna go three, two, one, go. Okay, so up and down for the minute. Do as slow, as hard as you can. So you can sit down and stand up, or you can just do a squat and just touch the bum off the back of the chair. Okay, so we're gonna go for the minute. We have 10 seconds done. 
So as you can see, it's a bit of a strength exercise for the legs. You start to feel the burn down in a minute. But you also probably feel a little bit out of breath. Just get the heart rate going. So even if we do a circuit like this, we might be doing some strength exercise, but we're also kind of activating our cardiovascular system. So like Sheila was talking about, our 10 minutes of moderate intensity. If someone's keeping an eye on our heart rate there, we're probably in that moderate zone by doing this kind of exercise. Another 10 seconds to go. I'm feeling the burn now. That's a good pace, guys. Keep that up. Five, four, three, two, one. We're straight into our bent over row. So you have the exercise band, right arm, stand on the band. Make the band as tight as you can. And then we pull back. So we're gonna go for 30 seconds on the right arm, then 30 seconds on the left arm, starting now. That's it, Kieran. If you can bend over a small bit, if you have a chair, you can kind of lean over a small bit. Elbow kind of glides, glides past the chest wall. 10 more seconds on the right, right side. Three, two, one. And then if you switch over to the left arm. Again, elbow tucked in by your side. You might feel it in the back of your arm in the tricep muscle or just in the back of the shoulder blade. Again, you can make it easier by lightening the band or let, making it looser. You can make it more difficult by tightening the band. Five more seconds. Two, three, four, five. And back to the sit stands. So one minute starting now. Excellent. Let's see if we can keep this pace up. It's impressive on a Sunday morning. So look at my heart rate, I'm in the moderate zone. Hold on guys, keep up that pace. Another 10 seconds. And back to straight on to our next exercise, which is the heel raise. So if you can stand onto the back of the chair, hold onto the back of the chair. And we're going up and down. Up, up in one second, down in two seconds, for a minute, starting now. Again, if you're finding this one difficult, if you have any ankle pain or anything like that, you can do the same exercise, sitting down. So I'll show you that one. So keep going guys, standing up. And for the seated exercise, sitting and up and down the tippy toes. That's it, another 20 seconds to go. So whichever one you prefer, the seated one. So up and down the tippy toes seating or up and down, the, up and down on the tippy toes standing. Five, Four, three, two, one. Then back into the sit stand. One minute, last minute on this circuit, starting now. I really start to feel the burn now. And I think for this five minutes, my heart rate, since we started doing that sit to stand, my heart rate has been in that moderate zone. So even though we were doing my upper limb exercises, my heel raises, the sit to stand kind of kept my heart rate up in that moderate zone for the whole time. 
Ooh, feel the burn now. It's another 15 seconds. Well done, guys. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Ooh, well done. So if you want to grab a, a quick drink of water there again. So that was the strength circuit part one. We're going to do a second strength circuit and it's going to be more floor based exercise. So you might need maybe a pillow or a cushion for the head. You'll need the exercise band and maybe a mat or something like that if you have a hard floor. Everyone all right? Thumbs up. Excellent. Okay. Right, so we're going to go straight into this. So again, it's going to be the same. We're going to have one exercise that we're going to keep coming back to for the minute. So I'll show you the three exercises while you're uh, catching your breath. The first exercise is called a bridge exercise. So that's when you're lying down, flat on your back, knees are bent up, hands down by your side. And this exercise is you raise the hips up, to straighten out and back down. Okay, it's called a bridge exercise. If you find it easy with no resistance, what you can do is you can add in the exercise band, hold the exercise band over the hips and drive the hips up against the band. So that's exercise number one. Exercise number two is like a bench press. So what you're going to do is you're going to have the exercise band. You're going to put it around the back of the shoulders. So it's around the shoulder blades. You're going to lie on the band. So you're holding it with your two hands and you're going to punch the ceiling. Okay. So that's number two. And number three is like the one we did in the warm up. You have the band between the hands. You're lying on your back and you're pulling the band apart. So it's almost like you're making a T shape with your arms like that. Okay. So those are the three exercises. We're going to start with the bridge and we're going to come back to the bridge three times. And in between, we're going to do those two arm exercises. Okay. So use the band for the bridge if you feel like it's a little bit easy. Otherwise, you can just do no resistance. Okay. So our one minute of the bridge starts. Three, two, one. And off we go. Okay, so hips up and down, grips, hip, hips up and down. And we're going to complete this for a minute. If you find that easy, as I said, you can add in the band over the hips to apply a little bit of extra resistance. Again, we're going to try and complete, continue with it for the minute. So if you go slower, it'll make it easier. If you want to make it harder, you just go at a slightly faster pace. So we're up and down for a minute. Over halfway there. 20 seconds left. Might feel, start to feel it to the back of the hips, the glute muscles. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. We're gonna go straight into our bench press. So we have the band around the back of the shoulders. Lying on the band, legs bent up. And now we're punching the ceiling with both hands. So punch the ceiling, arms come out to your side, punch the ceiling, and off we go for a minute starting now. So this is for the, the chest muscles, we're at the front of the chest. Again, to make it more difficult, tighten the band. To make it easier, loosen the band. Or you can even do it with no band at all. 30 seconds done. So now I start to feel it in your back. I feel it at the back of my elbow, the back of my arm. Maybe a little bit in my chest. 15 seconds. Five, 
five, four, three, two, one. Finish that one, and we're going to go straight back into our bridge. So hips up again, and one minute starting now. And again, like I said, you can do it with no band and keep going for the minute. If you're finding that just a little easy, we can make it more difficult by applying the band over the hips, keep the hands anchored down against the floor. So we're pushing up against the resistance of the band. Halfway there, that's 30 seconds done. Ten seconds. Two, one, and then into our third exercise, which is the band pull apart. So arms extended up in front of you, and then we're going to pull the band apart to make that T shape with the arms. Excellent. One minute starting now. If we can't make the full T-shape, just pull the band out as far as you can to make it easier. Make the band a little bit looser. To make it harder, make the band a little bit tighter. So just tighten up the slack on the band. Again, this one we're going to feel probably between the shoulder blades and maybe on the back of the arm, back of the shoulder. Well done, over halfway there. If you find it difficult lifting your shoulders up that high, you can even do it at a slightly lower shoulder position, but everyone seems to be doing it well. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. And then last back into our bridge. And we're going to bridge for one last minute Starting now. So hips up. Again, no bands to make it easier. If you're getting a little bit tired in the hip muscles, you can do no band even for the last circuit. But if you can, use the band and keep going for the minute. You did take the pace, so you can do it faster, up and down a bit quicker, or you can go up down a little bit slower if you're starting to feel that little bit of a tiredness. Now that we're towards the end of the circuit, 30 seconds done, 30 seconds to go. Well done guys, another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done. Whew. I'm feeling that, feeling the hip muscles, legs a bit wobbly now. Well done guys. So if you want to get, definitely get a drink of water after that. Watch when you stand up that you don't, don't get that head rush. <laughs> all right. So we're nearly there. We've done all the hard work. So it's all a bit more relaxing from now on. Grab a drink of water. And the last thing we're going to do now is we're just going to do a little bit of a gentle stretch. So today we've done a little bit of cardiovascular exercise with Paula, but also you can feel it. I feel it there after doing the bridges, after doing that sit to stand, I can also get in a bit of cardiovascular workout there. So we've got a 10 minute bout with Paula. I probably, probably got another 10 minute bout, even though we're doing strength exercises, I definitely felt the heart rate up. So I was probably in that moderate zone. I was looking at my watch the odd time. So I'm definitely in that moderate heart rate zone. Last thing we're going to do, so we've done some strength work, we've done some cardiovascular work. The last thing we're going to do now as a cool down is some kind of mobility or flexibility work. Okay, so we're going to do three or four stretches. So we're going to start with the arm stretch. So this one is you have one arm out in front of you. The other arm goes behind it and you kind of pull it across your body. That's it, yeah. So arm out in front of you, 
and then we're just kind of crossing it across the body. So I'm almost like that, arm out in front of you, one hand in behind the elbow, and we pull it across our body. We're gonna hold it for about 20 seconds on that arm. That's it, across the body. That's it, Karen, yeah, pull it across your body, almost like you're trying to wrap your arm around you like a scarf. Excellent. Shake it out, and we're gonna do the same on the other arm. Again, about a 20 second, at least a 20 second hold. So as we're doing this now, the heart rate should be coming back down, should be coming out of that moderate zone, and she can be easing back down over time. Good stuff, and shake it out. We're gonna do a stretch for the calf muscle, which is this muscle at the back of the leg. So again, if you want, you can do a, you can use the back of the chair to stabilize you. One leg back, one leg forward. The back leg is straight and the toes are pointing forward. And you're just going to bend that front leg. So we keep the back leg straight. You might feel a stretch on the back of the leg, down towards the calf muscle or the Achilles. And we're going to hold that for 10, 20 seconds again. That's it. Good stuff. And switch legs, shake it out, switch legs. You have the other leg back. Again, if you have uh, poor ankle mobility or any tightness in the back of the leg, you can just make your, your stance a little bit shorter, okay? Or if you really want to get a stretch, you can really kind of set, put that back leg a little bit further back. Bend the front leg, and then we're holding that for at least kind of 20 seconds. Allow the muscle to stretch out. Excellent. We're going to do the hamstring muscle next. So that's the big kind of muscle at the back of the thigh. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the leg, left, right leg forward and straight. The back leg then is a little bit bent. Hands on the front of the leg and you're going to slide the hands down the leg a little bit so you feel a bit of a stretch of the, the hamstring muscle, this muscle at the back of the thigh. So the front leg is straight. Use the chair if you need to. Back leg is bent and you're going to feel that stretch in the front straight leg. Okay? And again, we're going to hold it for at least kind of 20 seconds. Stuff. That's perfect, guys. Switch over. So then we have our left leg straight is the front leg. We're going to bend, flex, flex that back leg. I'm going to lean forward, lean the trunk forward so you feel that stretch in the, in the straight leg, that straight front leg, that left leg. Good stuff. Well done. Shake it out. And our last stretch is for the quads muscle. So this is at the anterior thigh muscle. Okay. So if you can, again, you might need the, the chair to help you balance. If you can do, I'll show you a couple of ways to do this one. If you can do, you're going to get the leg. You're going to hold on to the foot. I'll bring it up close to the bum so you feel that stretch in the front of the leg. And if you find that one difficult, what you can do is you can sometimes grab the sock or grab the tracksuit bottom and hold that bit and bring it up. And if that's still too difficult, what you can do is you can do it with the chair. You can put the knee on the chair like that and then stretch your, your torso up nice and tall. So you still, you might feel it in the front of that leg that's on the chair. So it's three, two, three different options to get that stretch in the front of the leg. Excellent, hold 20, 30 seconds. And we're gonna do the same on the other leg. So bend it up if you can, try and keep the, the knees fairly, fairly close together. Again, we're going to hold it for 20, 30 seconds. We're already done that stretch. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right. Well done, guys. That was the, that was the exercise class for this morning. Um, so that was 40, 46, 47 minutes of fairly kind of